And President Mohamed Buhari has directed the Minister of Health to turn the brain drain syndrome in the health sector to brain gain. The president also told former chairman of the defunct Congress for Progressive Change not to allow a repeat of the self-centeredness that led to the loss of more than one million lives during the civil war. President Buhari disclosed this in two separate meetings held today in Abuja. Stevenson News State House correspondent Femi Akonde reports. The new leadership of the Nigeria Medical Association meets President Muhammad Buhari to talk about issues that have over time affected the health sector in the country. This meeting was an opportunity for the president to talk about the skill gap in the health sector caused by the exodus of health professionals in search of greener pastures elsewhere. According to data from the World Health Organization, Nigeria has a doctor-to-population ratio of 1 to 4,000. President Mohamed Buhari said the Healthcare Reform Committee chaired by Vice President Yemi Oshimbajo is working out ways to improve the quality of health care and the benefits package for care providers. I am pleased to announce that the Central Bank of Nigeria's support to the private pharmaceutical sector in the local manufacturing of medicines and medical consumables has also led to the provision of a total of 100 billion naira for indigenous pharma manufacturers, manufacturers and healthcare investors as loans to expand their capital base. The Association of Doctors want President Buhari to ensure full and appropriate implementation of the National Health Insurance Act. The security situation in the country today does not inspire confidence, especially among the medical and dental practitioners, some of whom have become the brunt, have borne the brunt of kidnapping for ransom and treatment of traumatized victims and their relatives. We believe that your administration is doing her best, but more needs to be done to engender the confidence and trust of the citizenry. The president also met with former state chairman of the defunct Congress for Progressive Change, a political party on whose platform he contested for the office of the president in 2011. He urged them to work towards preserving the unity and integrity of the country. To ensure that we attain greater milestones in terms of economic growth, infrastructural development, provision of security, and the war against corruption, among other responsibilities of government. The leader of the group also promised President Muhammad Buhari that they will use their political influence to support the presidential candidate of the APC, Ashiwaju Bola Tinubu. The former state chairman of the defunct CPC thanked the president for providing strong leadership over the years and also for appointing members of the political bloc into the Federal Executive Council. Femi Akonde, TVC News, Abuja.